this video, we'll show you how to create purchase credit notes in Sage Accounting. A purchase credit note is a document sent to you by your supplier to correct an invoice or to refund an amount paid. Credit notes can be created in several ways. We'll cover each one in this video. Let's get started. First, we'll show you how to create a credit note from an original invoice. Use this option if the invoice is unpaid or part paid and you need to credit part or all of the remaining outstanding balance. To access the original invoice, navigate to Purchases and click Purchase Invoices. Here you'll see a list of all current invoices. If necessary, use the filters and search options at the top to help you find the invoice. Once you've located the original invoice, select this from the list. From the panel on the right, click Add Credit Note. A credit note is created with all the details of the original invoice. The credit note date will automatically default to today's date. Amend this if required. If you're crediting the full value of the invoice, no changes to the details are needed. If you're crediting part of the invoice only, amend the relevant information on each item line where amendments are needed. Use the delete icon to easily delete full item lines. Please note, if you're using stock items, a stock movement transaction is created whenever you buy or sell stock. Whenever stock items are included on a purchase credit note, we create a negative goods in stock movement. This decreases your stop level as this assumes the goods have returned. If the goods on the original invoice are not being returned, amend the credit note item lines to remove any stock items you do not want to show a negative goods out stop movement for. Use this icon to check and add analysis types to your item line, such as cost centers or departments. Add any relevant notes here. If you're not ready to save and finalize this credit note, select this checkbox to save it as a draft. While in draft status, it will not update your accounts or VAT. To view a detailed VAT analysis, click this link. Attach any supporting documents by clicking this icon. Follow the on-screen steps to add up to 10 attachments to your credit note. There are several options when saving a credit note. Save and you will save your credit note and clear the form, allowing you to easily create your next credit note without leaving this screen. If you would like to save and finalize your credit note without creating a blank form, simply click Save. Once saved, the credit note is automatically allocated to the original invoice, so there's no need to manually allocate this later. The invoice amount due is reduced by the value of the credit note. You've now successfully created, saved, and sent a purchase credit note directly from an invoice. Next, we'll show you how to create a standalone credit note. Use this method when the purchase invoice is already fully paid and your supplier has sent you a refund. Or if this is a supplier you regularly use, you can allocate credit notes against a future invoice if a refund has not been issued. To do this, navigate to Purchases, then click Purchase Credit Notes. Then click New Credit Note. All mandatory information is marked with an asterisk. Complete the information at the top by entering your supplier, the credit date, and if you have a reference, such as an original invoice number, enter this in the reference box. If the credit note you have received from your supplier has a unique supplier reference, you can enter this here. If a stock item has been returned, use the product service dropdown to select the returned item. This will create a stock adjustment. If this is a credit for a service, choose the relevant one from this list. Once a product or service is selected, the item line details are automatically populated based on the product or service record. Check the details on the item line and make any necessary amendments. Alternatively, enter the information manually by leaving the product service empty and completing each required box. Use this icon to add analysis types to your item line, such as cost centers or departments. Repeat the process to enter additional item lines to your credit note. Enter any notes and attachments if required. Save the credit note by selecting one of the options available. If you've already received a refund from a supplier, you can record your refund manually in the banking tab or from within the credit note by clicking here. Alternatively, you can match the transaction when using a bank feed. If you'd like to learn more about banking transactions, access our videos by visiting Sage University or visit the Help Center.
You can also enter your credit notes as quick entries. Use this option to quickly enter purchase credit notes individually or in bulk for more than one supplier at a time. Navigate to the purchases menu and click quick entries. Click new quick entry. Complete the information ensuring you choose credit note in the type column. Please note you can't select a product or service using quick entries. Therefore, no stop levels are adjusted. Once you're happy with all the information entered, click save. The credit note will now appear on your supplier record. If you have a credit note to allocate to an invoice or a refund, you can do this manually in a supplier record. First, navigate to the relevant supplier record and then use this dropdown. Click Account Allocation. All outstanding transactions are listed here. By selecting the checkbox on the left, you can allocate transactions together. We'll allocate the credit note to the purchase invoice dated 30th of January. In this example, the remaining balance of the invoice exceeds the credit note value. The left to allocate should be zero. To reduce the amount paid against the invoice, click on the value in the paid column next to the invoice. Amend the amount to pay to reflect the value of the credit note, which in this case is £42.26. To save this, click Apply. The left to allocate box is zero. To save the allocation and part pay the invoice with the credit note, click Save. If you'd like to record a refund received from a supplier, you can do this easily from the credit note. Navigate to the required credit note, then click Record Refund. Please note this option is not available for quick entry credit notes. Alternatively, if you have bank feeds set up or you import your bank statement, allocate the refund to your credit note while processing your imported bank transactions. For more information and videos on processing your bank transactions, please visit Sage University. You have now learned how to create credit notes in Sage Accounting.